Russian general was fired for unprepared defense in Bakhmut. Institute for the Study of War, ISW, has updated its 1st of October assessment that Ukrainian forces lost positions in the trench system southwest of Robotyne. Geographic footage released on the 2nd of October and satellite imagery indicate that Ukrainian forces regained these positions sometime between the 12th and 17th of September and are currently holding them. In addition, according to military analysts, Ukrainian troops have advanced slightly in the area of the border of Donetsk and Zaporizhia oblasts and near Bakhmut. On the 2nd of October, Russian troops continued their offensive on the Avdiivka Donetsk line and advanced. The Russian military claimed the capture of several Ukrainian positions near Siven, Keramik and Stepov on the 1st and 2nd of October. Ukraine's general staff reported that Ukrainian forces repelled Russian attacks east of Stepov and near Avdiivka, Keramik, Pervomaysk, Marinka and Novo Mykhailivka. According to the ISW, Ukrainian forces marginally advanced in the Donetsk Zaporizhia Oblast border area and near Bakhmut on the 2nd of October. A Russian Storm Z assault unit instructor speculated that the Russian Ministry of Defense removed Lieutenant General Andrei Sashevoy from commanding the Bakhmut direction due to his poor performance. Russian sources reported that Lieutenant General Andriy Saishevoy was blamed for unprepared, unorganized and ineffective human waves counter-attacks on Klishyivka and Andriyivka that led to unsustainable losses and further collapse of the defense line and was fired. And as claimed by the Russian sources, he was not just fired. A group of people unexpectedly showed up at his office, took him out and no one has seen him since. Interestingly, this was done so fast that no formal transfer of responsibility has been done.